The story so far. Amba asks to go to her beloved king Shalva. Bhishma lets her go. Shalva refuses Amba. Amba accuses Bhishma of ruining her life and seeks revenge. Sage Parshuram fights Bhishma but fails to defeat him. It was not long before a terrible illness took King Vichitravirya's life. His death brought twin tragedies upon Hastinapur. Not only did the kingdom not have a king, it now also did not have a prince. Despite there being two queens in the palace, Vichitravirya had died childless. Queen Mother Satyavati decided that Bhishma's celibacy had gone on for long enough. She ordered him to father the children of Ambika and Ambalika. He was, after all, the only surviving son of King Shantanu. But Bhishma remained steadfast and said that he will not marry. Even when Satyavati asked him to choose a bride from another kingdom, Bhishma did not budge. Helpless, Satyavati was forced to tell her son a secret that she had kept hidden all her life. She told Bhishma that he had a brother, a son that Satyavati had before she ever met King Shantanu. Once, when Satyavati had been a young woman known as Matsyaganda, a sage by the name of Parashar had fallen for her. Their secret love had created Vyas, a child blessed by Parashar to be the greatest poet the world had ever seen. Since Satyavati could not keep the miracle child with her, she sent it away. Vyas, who grew into a man within moments, promised his mother that he will appear when she summons him. That time, Satyavati told Bhishma, had now come. Vyas came when Satyavati called upon him. She asked him to father the children of Ambika and Ambalika. Bhishma was relieved at the thought that the throne of Hastinapur will not go empty. The shock of it, however, was too much for the two widows of Vichitravirya. Sage Vyas was not pleasant to look at, and the sight of him had already struck terror into their hearts. In their fears was the future of Hastinapur. Next week on Epified, The Science of Kuru. His descendants were the Pandavas and the Kauravas. In this way, he was the father of the great war that ended the Dwapar Yug. When it became clear that the son of Ganga would never give up his vow of celibacy, the angry sage challenged his disciple to a fight to the death. <laughs>